Okay, in this presentation, this is a sort of follow-on from the ggpairs uh, presentation. So what we're going to do here is look at ggscatmat, which is a matrix of scatter plots and also the correlation coefficients. Okay. Now, for this, we are using the library ggally, capital G, capital G, ally. Uh, also, it is handy to have... You know, just in case, I have it done, but just in case, ggplot2, and a couple of other things as well. So, that's, let's get straight into it. So, the data set we're going to look at is Iris, okay? And essentially what we have there is we have four numeric variables. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. We also have sp species here. Now, species got sort of reckoned with when in the... Um, gg pairs plot but we're not going to sort of incorporate it here so what we're going to do here is well it doesn't get incorporated here gg scat mat iris so here's our little plot uh so what we have is a along the diagonals we have density plots which are sort of con convey the same sort of information as histograms okay uh, above the diagonal, we have the correlation coefficients, okay, of each of the four numeric variables, and below the diagonals, we have the scatter plots of each corresponding pairs of variables. Okay, so that is what it does. Now, just a couple of sort of remarks here. Just notice that the scales are not consistent. Okay, so for in this case, we have uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the range of values there. Um, the down here we have um, uh, two to four point five, two to six, and zero to two point five. Essentially, what I'm sort of saying is just don't uh, assume automatically that their one plot is scale the exact same way as the other plot. Um, nice, quick sort of way of getting to grips with uh, the data. Just be where, my, mindful of the fact that it is uh, the scales are, might sort of confuse things. Um, yeah, actually, that's it. So, GG Scatmat. Okay, that's it. That's all I need to say.